Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Marmoset, and welcome back to City Skylines. We've got people are leaving, which is sad, lots of cash, and a demand for commercial. Not a lot of um, demand for residential, even though our residential is pretty much full. Um, the other thing we do have is a lot of our industry is complaining about not enough workers, and some of our commercial here and there is complaining about not enough workers, I and mean, in particular our industry is really complaining there's not enough workers. So we need more people. We need lots more people. Now you've noticed that this area, let me tidy this stray power cable away, this area here was full of these parks. These parks are all over here. We're going to build really high density into here. So we need to start with working out what it's going to look like around the edge. So this is going to be a thing. Uh, I'm not going to probably connect this up to anything else um, because I don't necessarily want to. Um, I'm kind of happy with that connection being as it is. But this motorway junction is suitable for exchanging traffic. It's not suitable for having traffic coming in and off. So we're probably going to look at having to build in some kind of new connections, which are going to be interesting because we don't necessarily have an awful lot more space base left, given we've got Ocelot Air coming up this bit, Spider Industrial's Braid is going to be going all the way along here, so we're going to see what we can do about trying to connect it in, but for starters, let's put in a perimeter road. Now we're going to need a large frontage road, because we've got a lot of space to fill in, so let's get that running along that bit of train line, up to about there, switch curve mode, come out to about there and then come round, switch back to the freeform mode, or up to about there and then we'll be switching back to this curve, and coming around in an arc, So, switch back to freeform. Yeah, you just have to get a little close there, won't you? Come out that side. Come down about there, and then we'll switch back to a curve. What we'll do is we will scratch a little bit of that off. There we go. Right, that's the edge of our huge new district. So now we need to put roads inside of it. So, coming down a grade. There we go. I'm just looking for stupid high density here. I'm not going to make this a nice place to live, but we've got curves and stairs. But I just want to pack this in as much as we can now. So, let me use a straight line. I just put a straight line in there. Yeah, let's midline that just a little bit. So that's the frontage road, so everything else comes off this. So I want spokes. These things aren't necessarily. Let's have one of that corner. And this one can pretty much fill in just from coming out from here. And one out from here, and then one out from there. Now we need to work out what we want to put in the middle. Well, what we can do is put three way road that connects this lot up and make it deliberately partially chaotic. So, so it has a distinct or interesting kind of flavour in the middle of it. All right, let's see how badly that snarls the traffic up, shall we? Are we on that one way, or are we on that two way? If we lay the buses out in a sensible manner, it should be fine. Now we want these roads. Adopt a similar pattern to what we did with Starfish Shores. Should have had them. 
alternating. Let's turn the snapping off and give ourselves a bit more space. Occasional arc. That's just giving us nice arcs off there. Put in that gap like that. And then I will have this one stand back on. Thin line like that. Thank you. Your, that road there is going to be a pain, I know it, so I will come out like that for this section. Because I know full well that if I try to come off there again, there's far too many close in ones on that one. Is to alternate the junctions to increase the spacing between them. Right. Nice. Okay. Right. Do we want to put anything in the center? No, I think we'll leave that for a bit of space in terms of parks. Okay. That's that laid out. Power will probably come in from the edges, so we'll worry about that in a sec. Water, we've apparently already got some in from where the parks were previously. Sharp an angle, apparently. We can come from there. Alright, so I can cover it all if I do it like that. Fine. Redundancy, ahoy! Let's have a double up pipe along there then. And then we'll need another pipe along here. Which probably means we can delete most of that one. Done. Alright, so that's the water in. And for my engineering sensibilities of redundancy. Right, okay. So we are probably going to need trash and other side of support services so I will get a road of suitable type stick that out there and then we'll just drop some garbage on the end of it Right, okay, so we are going to wrap along and let's get some zoning on. Let's tuck that aside so we don't disturb too much of our slot there. Go back to our big blob. And just get all this filled in. Cooper Park. No, not Cooper Park. This is the MITA M I T A Chondria mm, Blocks. My mitochondria projects. Policies Parks and Rec, yeah, because that's a national one. Taxation, I'm fine with that. City planning. Happy with that. So, 
Let's get some zoning on. Now we want high density commercial all around the edges. Because if you put things on the edges like this, it makes it more you don't have all the commercial traffic diving into the center of your city or your district. So having learned from previous games, if you put this lot in the middle, then you have an awful lot of traffic trying to get to the middle, and I don't necessarily want that. I want it to be on the edges. You want to do your shopping, you have to come out the perimeter road, which means anyone who wants to deliver anything to a shop just uses the frontage perimeter road. It suits me. Zoning. Zoning is fun and free. Hooray for zoning. You and me. Because we've got such unstraight roads here, we can't just use the block one. Because I'm being picky about where I actually put them, we can't quite get away with using a marquee tool. So we should be able to get. This should certainly satisfy the commercial demand. Before we get too much further, but now we've got these bit blocked out. There we go. Nice. I am actually going to slightly adjust the district just a little bit, in that mitochondria projects is going to have a sub district in the middle. Which I probably could drop a painting one for that. Yeah, there we go. He's actually going to have a sub district in the middle. Yeah, right, so let's remove one, so now I should be able to fill in like that. Not Kent Park. Cellular Leisure. There's at the very centre, and you are going to have Tourism Leisure Speciality. Go for leisure. Uh, let's go for leisure now. I'm kind of happy with that. Mm. One thing I am going to do is I am going to make mitochondria projects an old town so people don't go through it. And I'm probably also going to put a heavy traffic ban on as well. It says it doesn't affect highways, so I'm not really fussed too much about that. So that would should stop trucks going to and through it, which is what we don't want. So the rest of this, we can indeed grab the marquee tool and go high density residential. Apart from you. Alright, so that's a lot of that done. Now, water, fire, healthcare. I am probably going to put selection of hospitals around my country projects. Right, there we go. Next to each one of these, we will put a crematorium. We will be wanting some fire coverage. Uh, put them next to the key spokes. Show me fire coverage or not? Uh, is anyone there active? Right, so it takes a little while. Police wise, I'll do exactly the same. Put them next to Fire stations. Move 
those ones later. Is it one over here? Yes, I did. I just see it in the black and white. Education wise, this is where we're going to get busy. Right. We want a. elementary school for. pretty much. every sub block. And we will want a. secondary school. Three of them to start with, like that. Vast university capacity, so I'm not going to worry about that too much. Buses, I'll worry about in a bit. Parks, parks we can do. Let's get some parks in. Got plenty of spare parks, that's for sure. That's a big one. I'm going to find space for you. Yes, if I get that across just a little bit, I'll put you in there. See if we can find another space for another huge park. Not quite any gap around there. I'll stick it in the middle of that. Don't want to trim that road down. Oh, it's one of our railway lines, apart from. Okay, the slope is too steep. Slightly surprised by that. Wouldn't have guessed for that. That space is already occupied. Do I want to put actually the incinerators? No, not really. That would make it smell unpleasant. I'm aware that this is probably going to be something of a traffic nightmare. I decided that I have a limiting amount of caring. There we go. Let me put it off so it minimizes. Yeah, that'll do. Alright, smack bang in the middle so it has the largest effect. Spare firehouse, you can just sit there for now. Another plaza with trees. Making our way around, distributing our parks. We have a nice fit there. Large playgrounds. Another large playground. Just amazed at the number of playgrounds I had apparently in the old um, Spider Industrial Network. It's like, well, quite was I on when I was building one of these. It's like it's an industrial area. I suppose you can make it kind of the funky kind of fun area. We're thinking about well. Let's make it a fun industrial place. Why is it fun? Well, we've got playgrounds! Playgrounds everywhere! Apparently another fire station. Yet another large playground. Yet another large playground. I was saying I apparently liked large playgrounds when I was building Spider Industrial the first time. Plaza with trees. Let's fill in that gap there. Alright. Any more I want to put in? Just give you a bit more variety. Other bucks. Basketball court. Oh, don't I have a. See, I thought I had a mod that gave me a football park. Evidently not. Alright, well let's uh, stick a skate park in. I don't think we need beach volleyball out here. And... I think I probably will have a nice little carousel park there opposite the school. Alright. What else do we want to stick in? I not any more of these, because that should go in the city centre. No. I don't want that one. Oh, yes, paths. What we want now is paths. The usual thing we do will we connect this lot up just to make it a little bit easier. Snapping's on, yes. Uh, 
a little bit easier to walk between places. Right. All right, let's do the path game. It's pathfinding. Shall we give the uh, rather unseemly pun? We are finding paths. Okay, what I am trying to do here is minimize the number of times that I. Minimize the amount of buildings I ruin with my pathing. Don't necessarily, yeah, I've got a lot of building space. I want to keep four buildings. Not necessarily for paths. That's what I do like the paths, and it does improve, reduces foot traffic and the like. I don't want them disturbing too much the, the expensive land I've laid out for buildings. So having laid all these buildings down, having zoned all this space, I want it to be used for buildings. Okay, so let's move the medical clinic one over, which should let me put a path down the middle. Yeah, you're too short. It'd be worth bothering with. Good access to the center is always useful. Essentially, you want to make make sure that none of these things are in any way, shape, or form actual dead ends. There a path on the end of each of said roads that actually connects up. I'm okay, I'm okay with that actually. The length of it means it's worthwhile. You're too short, you're connected, you're connected, you're connected, you're connected, you're connected, you're connected, you're connected there, there, there and there, connected there and there and there, 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 there we go. Alright. Okay, thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. This has been the building of Mitochondria Project with this little study of leisure in the middle. Yes, technically that's the wrong way around. You probably should have the mitochondria in the middle of the amoeba. Um, but it's a project. It's, it doesn't actually need to be correct. It just needs to be as far as it is. So, in the interim, I'm going to put some bus routes in and connect up. Um, well, actually, no, you can't see me do bus routes in the lane. So, next episode, probably bus routes and bus, mass transit. I've been the Marmoset. This has been City Skylines and the metropolis of 89 and a bit thousand people of Animalia. Please remember to like, subscribe, and freely comment.